Hi, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. Um, today I have a little bit of, bit of a different type of haul. Um, this haul is my um, father-in-law's downsizing haul. So, as you can see, I have this beautiful piece of glass in my hand. Um, he told me it is Murano glass, I will believe him, it is so heavy. It's an ashtray and it has the lovely tones of red and clear glass. Now inside it, I'm very sad one of these got broken, a tiny wee little Murano glass lollies. How cute are they? Now some of these items I will be keeping, um, just to keep a few things, you know, in the family to um, hand down to to his grandchildren. Um, and then there's also this one. The other pieces there, I might just glue it back on. We're, we're keeping them anyway. Um, so that is absolutely Fabulous. It's huge. That one is staying with us. Um, I know they probably have a bit of value, but I'm, the value is um, sentimental in that case. Um, he also gave me these glass candlesticks. Um, I don't assume they're anything too special, but these all came from the depths of his china cabinet and things have been in there for many, many years. So I'm guessing they're all vintage. Um, another nice piece is another ashtray. Now, <laughs> he gave up smoking many, many years ago, but he's kept his lovely glass ashtrays and this one has etched um, cherries or something that's quite nice it's quite big quite heavy <sighs> very careful with some of this stuff don't want to break it now he also gave me this little fish which is the colored glass he wasn't sure if this was marana or not but it's in really good condition um, I'll keep that in the cabinet for his granddaughter or something at a later stage. Um, I love pottery and I love everything about it. Uh, this is a Bendigo pottery, um, just a little goblet. It's quite heavy, made in Australia, um, handmade stoneware. I will keep this one. But he also gave me another set of um, of goblets with a carafe, which I will put to the market. Now he did give me these just to take to the market, but I just can't part with some of them. <laughs> now this one is the rum topshin. Yes, I know it's backwards. Sorry about that. It's a couple of little screws, so that's just a little um ceramic utensil dish um I'm trying to think what you call them in america no can't think anyway we're in australia so this is just a utensil holder to me um so i might swap out my other ceramic one with this one i think i have a, a rum topshin bottle up on my shelf so I'll go nicely with it and we have this beautiful um, teapot. It's not, it's not iron stone, I don't presume. It's not that heavy, um, and it is sorry, woods everywhere, England, stamped on the bottom there, and it's in beautiful condition. Um, 
lovely in any country farmhouse. So cool. A bit scared where to put these things. So lovely. Um, I had a number of plates and things. This is staying for the refund. Plate number 187 Z. It's just a little collector's plate of an outback um, building. General store. I'm not sure if it has any value, but nice. Uh, a lot of amberware, so this is a beautiful amber vase. Some details. I'm unsure of the value on any of these items, but I'll just see what I can do and try my best to figure that out. Some amber glass. Quite a collection of little bottles and things, some of which are amber. Um, these are also an amber style glass. Two little plates of fish swimming. Um, they're a little bit deeper than plates, so I don't know what you would actually um, call them. They do have something stamped on the back. I can't actually see that. I will have to get my um, what do you call it? Looking. Oh, you know what I mean. That zooms in and out. Um, or take a photo and zoom them in. Yes, it is stamped something, but I'm not sure what. Anyway, they are quite nice. So quite a lot of these items will be heading over to my market stall at Penguin. Um, however, as I said, some of them I will be keeping in my own collection. All right. I'm not sure why a granddad in his 70s had a little um, brass horn in the cupboard, but it's quite cute. We'll keep that out at Christmas. Okay, now. Now for the big boxes. Right, move a couple of these things up here. Don't get knocked around. Already ran myself out of room. Don't want to break anything. Bad. Um, okay. Lastly, I had this all packed up ready to take to the market. Then I thought, look, no, I should do a little video. Okay. And another ashtray. Now this oops, my battery's running low. That's brilliant. Um, this one's almost the size of my head. Um, so we might get cut off part way through this video, and I will have to give my um, computer a charge. But anyway, it's just another glass ashtray, a very large one. Or much longer this battery lasts. Um, another pair of blue glass fish plates. Um, Bars type thing. There's a huge value in that, but it will look nice with some floral in it at the market. Um, 
arms. Computer. Uh, this is a little little plate. Mimi Spirits Hunting and painted in Australia. Sorry, I'm going to have to fly through these just to try and keep the battery going. Um, there's a pair of these vases, they're both exactly the same. I don't think they have a huge lot of age, but they're quite nice and spring. Some flowers aren't spring. Some are the unusual. I've never seen anything like this before. He said it was a coffee set and they're lint, like lint chocolate, made in Australia. So there's the jug. It still has the stick on the side. I haven't, I haven't been able to find any information about them. Um, this looks more like a um, wine cooler or utensil holder or something, and that's also from Lint Made in Australia. It's this lovely chocolate, chocolate brown with, I don't know, stylized wheat or something. So he said he's had these for a number of years. Um, I'm not sure how I would even find out any information on those. Other matching bars. These, these brooches. They're the Manhattan collection still in the box. Well, that one's a little, a little girl with a puppy dog. Didn't realise how cute. And this one is, I'm assuming a le leopard. Leopard never changes his spots. That's to say. Um. Very sun damaged box of serviette rings. I don't know, somebody might might like those. Um, and this is the carafe set I was talking about. So it has the four goblets and the wine carafe, and it's all in the box still in its original packaging. Quite nice. Things up here. Another glass dish, like a divided dish, so it's very pretty. I don't know if my battery's going to mount it, but um, a set of six glasses. They're just they're quite nice, quite solid. Mm. So big. <laughs> Everything was big in the day. Yes, and there's two of these glass jugs. They're not hand blown or anything, they still have a clean up the floor. That box. Wow, well, those glasses are quite heavy. Considering that's all that's in there six glasses and two jugs. Um, now, he also had this set of photo albums. So there's a small one and a large one, and they're quite interesting, kind of oriental, and they're, they're like a resin or a plastic or something. I might give those to, to my granddaughter, uh, to my daughter, sorry, his granddaughter. And lastly, look, we're going to make it a 26-piece 
punch set, um, which has all the all the cups, the bowls, and all the little hooks. It's all still in the box. So that was a great haul from um, from my father-in-law. I'm very pleased to be able to keep a few of these items and take some to the market to lighten his load. Um, if you would like to see any more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, check me out on Facebook as Hawthorne Grove, also on also on Instagram. Um, I have many, many items I need to get through. Some I thrift to resell, some I thrift to update, give them a paint job, a new lease of life. Um, I also do um, a lot of crafting with natural dyes, um, indigo, tie-dye, etc. And um, I will try and load up some of those craft style videos in the future. Anyway, I better let you go for now um, and pop my computer back on the charger. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.